Today let us consider Rolle's theorem and mean value theorem. From this, you can expect one fixed question for three marks. Consider the question. Verify Rolle's theorem for the following. In that first question, f of x is equal to x square plus 2x minus 8 where x belongs to the closed interval minus 4 comma 2. To verify Rolle's theorem, first let us consider the function f of x is equal to x square plus 2x minus 8 x belongs to the closed interval minus 4 comma 2. We know that f of x is x square plus 2x minus 8 which is a polynomial and it is continuous over the closed interval minus 4 comma 2 and differentiable over the open interval minus 4 comma 2. Therefore, f of x is continuous in the closed interval minus 4 comma 2 and it is differentiable in the open interval minus 4 comma 2. Now, consider f of a that is f of minus 4. If we replace minus 4 in the given function, we will get minus 4 the square 16 minus 4 into 2 minus 8 minus 8. So, we will get 0. Similarly, get the value of f of b. f of b is equal to f of 2. If we replace 2 in the given function, we will get 2 square 4, 2 2 is a 4, minus 8. Again, we will get 0. So, here f of a equal to f of b. And this is the first condition to be satisfied to verify Rolle's theorem. Now, consider derivative of the function that is f dash of x. So, if you find the derivative, we will get derivative of x square is 2x plus derivative of 2x that is 2. Now, get f dash of c that is 2c plus 2. Now, consider f dash of c equal to 0. That means 2c plus 2 equal to 0. So, 2c is minus 2 c is minus 1. Here c equal to minus 1 which belongs to the open interval minus 4 comma 2. So we can conclude that Rolle's theorem holds good. Now move on to the second question. f of x is equal to x square minus 1 where x belongs to the closed interval 1 comma 2. Consider the function f of x equal to x square minus 1 where x belongs to the closed interval 1 comma 2. We know that x square minus 1 which is a polynomial so it is continuous in the closed interval 1 comma 2 and differentiable in the open interval 1 comma 2. Now let us consider f of a where a is 1 now so f of 1 if we replace 1 in the given function we will get 1 square that is 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Now get the value of f of b b is 2 now so f of 2 that is 2 square 4 minus 1 so we will get 3 here f of a is not equal to f of b therefore Rolle's theorem does not hold good now move on to the next question f of x is equal to greatest integer x where x belongs to closed interval 5 comma 9. Consider the function f of x equal to greatest integer x. x belongs to 5 comma 9. We know that the greatest integer function is discontinuous at the integral points. Therefore, the function f of x equal to greatest integer x is discontinuous. at the integral points in the closed interval 5 to 9. Also, it is not differentiable. Therefore, Rolle's theorem does not hold good.
Now move on to the next question. f of x is equal to x square plus 2 where x belongs to the closed interval minus 2 comma 2. Now consider the function f of x is equal to x square plus 2 x belongs to the closed interval minus 2 comma 2. As f of x equal to x square plus 2 is a polynomial, the function f is continuous in the closed interval minus 2 comma 2 and f is differentiable in the open interval minus 2 comma 2. Now let us consider f of a where a is minus 2. So f of minus 2, if we replace minus 2 in the given function, we will get minus 2 the square that is 4 plus 2 so we will get 6. Consider f of b, b is 2 now replace 2 in the given function we will get 2 square 4 plus 2 again it is 6. So we can conclude that f of a equal to f of b equal to 6 now. Now consider derivative of the function f dash of x that is 2x. Now get f dash of c that is 2c. Now consider f dash of c equal to 0 that is 2c equal to 0 so c equal to 0. Therefore c equal to 0 which belongs to the open interval minus 2 comma 2. Therefore Rolle's theorem holds good. As c equal to 0 which belongs to the open interval minus 2 comma 2 we can conclude that Rolle's theorem holds good.